Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lesson 3, Introduction to Functions, part 2. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to describe various types of functions available in SQL. We will take a look at character functions, the continuation and also number functions. In the previous lesson, we have taken a look up until in string. Now, let's take a look at left pad. Left pad means pads the left side of character string, resulting in a right justified value. Left pad requires three arguments, a character string, total number of characters in the padded string, and the character to pad with. And we also have the right pad. Right pad pads the right hand side of a character string, resulting in a left justified value. The arguments is still the same. Let's take a look at a left pad example. If we take a look, left pad will have three different uh, arguments here. The first one is the character string. The second one is the size. And the third one is the uh, character to pad with. Okay, so if we take a look, uh, first thing first, we will take a look at the size. The size here, we have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 size. Then, if we have left pad, means we need to fill the right hand side first. We fill the right hand side with the first argument with our character. So what is our characters? How means how much it will take? Five. So means one, two, three, four, five will be deleted and we will change with Hamis. Then we have the five spaces, isn't it? So now the five spaces, uh, we will replace with the third uh, argument. Okay, the third argument is asterisk. So how many asterisk we'll get? One, two, three, four, five. So means now we have what we have here is five different asterisk with characters Hamis. Okay, so let's try to execute this one. See, this is the result that we will get. One, five asterisk and five for characters. So if the character here is Ali, Ali will take only three. So means Ali will take only three. So we have another extra two asterisk here. So let's take a look. And this is the result after our, if we change our, uh, our first string here, Ali. Same goes with uh, right pad here. If right pad means we fill the size uh, from the left hand side first. For example, here we have right pad Ali 10 uh, asterisk. So right pad fill the left hand side first, Ali. Then we have 10 size, means we have another 7 uh, spaces left. So we uh, replace with asterisk. Okay, so we had overall is 10. The, the first three characters are coming from Ali, then the rest is coming from the asterisk. So if you execute, this is what we will get. This one is very useful if we want to represent uh, the characters with uh, something else. Okay, sometimes we, we want to mask the full name, so we can do this part. Let's take a look on the implementation of left pad or right pad in, in our HR schema. So let's say we have this question, for every 2000 in a salary, replace it with a hash. For example, if the salary is 4000, that employee will receive two hash. So if you take a look here, if salary equals to 4000, they will get two hash. How to, how to do the calculation? It will be salary divided by 2000. For example, the salary now is 4000. 4000 divided by 2000, then we will get the, the two spaces here. So this is actually for the size. So now let's take a look on the implementation. Select uh, last name, salary, then we do the left pad. Left pad, we have three different arguments, isn't it? Okay. Oops. We have three different arguments. So let's take a look first from employees so now we know that the first argument uh, is for the search character then let's take a look on the size here second argument salary we divide by 2000 and we want to replace everything with hash place everything with hash how about the first argument let's say if we put the first argument as space okay so let's take a look at the implementation first select last name salary left pad uh, space salary divided by 2000 as the size then the replace with hash so 
if we execute this one, we will get wrong answer actually. Just take a look at 6,000. Supposedly, if your salary is 6,000, you will have 3 hash. But why this happen? Let's take a look. 6,000 divided by 2,000. We will have how many spaces? We have 3. So now, supposedly, we get it correct, isn't it? Three. But So we have 3 spaces. But our first argument, we put a space here. So the first argument is space. Left back, we fulfill the right hand side. So the first argument is space. Then another two, we replace with hash. That's why you get only two in the end. Okay, you get two in the end. So if you take a look inside here, there's a hash, hash, space. So this is incorrect. So what can we do? So the first argument, maybe you can put as hash. So if we do it this way, 6,000 divided by 2,000, we get three spaces. Okay, we get three different, uh, three, uh, three different spaces. So the first argument we fulfill left back, fulfill the right hand side with the first argument. First argument is hash. Then how about the first and second argument? We replace with the third argument, isn't it? Hash hash. Then we will get three different hash for six thousand. Now it becomes correct already. So let's try to execute this one. See six thousand, we get three different hash. Means it is correct already. But what if we really want? to put a space at the first argument here. Means, in our size here, we need to plus 1. Why do we need to plus 1 here? Because of, let's take a look, 6,000 divided by 2,000 is 3. We plus 1, we will get it is equal to 4. So now our space, we have 4 different spaces. Put uh, Left back, put the right hand side with the first argument. First argument is space. So we don't see anything like space. Then how about the other 3? We replace with hash. Then, if you execute this one, we get the correct answer already. 6,000, we get two, uh, three different hash. So, it is up to you. Want to use left pad or right pad, it will be the same. Okay, the answer will be the same. 6,000, we still have three hash. Let's take a look at the next character functions character manipulation functions, it is trim. It removes all specified characters from either the beginning, the end, or both beginning and end of strings. For replace, it replaces a sequence of characters in a string with another set of characters. There's one thing to note here. Please use column aliases as it is important to hide certain details from the SQL while you are doing the character manipulation functions or any functions. Let's take a look at trim. Uh, trim will remove the specified characters is either from beginning, the end or both beginning and end. So if you take a look at this example, what if we have the string of A, B, C, B, A. Now we would like to trim leading A from A, B, C, B, A from dual. This dual because this uh, A, B, C, B, A is not coming from any table. So let's take a look at leading A, trim leading A. So if we have A, B, C, B, A, if we trim leading A, it will be B, C, B, A because the leading A here will be removed. And if we want to remove the end of our string, since A, B, C, B, A here, the end of the string is A. So, we trim trailing A from A, B, C, B, A. So, we, we want to remove this A. The result will be A, B, C, B. So, if we execute, this is what we get. A, B, C, B. We remove this A. The trailing A. What if we want to remove the leading A and trailing A here? So, what we can do is select trim both A from A, B, C, B, A. So, the result will be B, C, B. Why? Because this uh, leading A and this trailing A will be removed. So if you execute, we get B, C, B. That's the trim. Let's continue with replace. We replace, we want to replace a sequence of character in a string with another set of character. For example, our characters here or our string here is Jack and Joe. Now I want to replace J with B, L. Okay, so this J will be replaced with BL. This J also will be replaced with BL. From the world, why? Because Jack and Jew is coming. Uh, it's not coming from any table. So if we execute this one, 
what we will get black and blue why black and blue because j has been replaced by pl uh, ju, this j in ju also is replaced by pl let's take a look at another example let's try to uh, replace uh, a characters inside our last name last name we want to replace a with asterisk for example a with asterisk Okay, everything is not coming from the world. Why? Why not the world? Because of last name is coming from table employees. So now all A, all small letter A inside last name will be replaced with asterisk. So if you execute this one, take a look. A bell, because there's no small letter A, and D also Atkinson. Take a look at this one. The real last name. Okay, let's select the last name also so that you can see. Select last name, replace last name. So, by the B, asterisk, I, D, asterisk, because we replace small letter A with asterisk. So, that's replaced. So, we have finished with all of our characters function, but you need to remember one thing. When we do all the functions here, if we don't give a column alias, take a look at our column heading here. Everything here is shown on what, what are we doing with our SQL. So, it's better to give a column alias for each and every function that you you uh, you have done to the sql so that people will not see what's actually the processing behind it we hide it from user so instead of having all these replaces now we have replacement let's move on to number function in sql we have three different number functions the first one is round round means we want to round value to a spe specified decimal for trunk, we want to truncate value to a specified decimal and for mode to return remainder of division. Let's take a look at round. Select round 45.923 to two decimal place. So we want only two decimal places. This is positive. Positive will go to the right. Two decimal place here. And if you take a look at the third decimal place, so this is not more than five. So of course, we cannot add one to two here so the result will be 45.92 the second one 45.923 to zero decimal place so means we don't want any decimal places but before that take a look this is nine so means we need to add one here so it will be 46 and take a look at 45.923 negative one means we go to the left negative one go to left mean we means we want to find nearest 10. Nearest 10 mean like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and so forth. And if we take a look here, 45 here means 5 and more. So it will be 50 if you go to the left, to the nearest 10. So if you execute, this is the answer that we get. 45.92, 46 and 50. But what if I change this number? What it become? 43.126. Six, sorry, one two five. Okay, forty three dot one two five to two decimal places. Okay, this one point the same forty five point nine two three, and this one the same number. So let's take a look forty three dot one two five to two decimal places. Two decimal places forty three dot one two. However, this is five. We need to add one to two here, so it'll be forty three dot one three. This one. 43.125 to zero decimal places. So if you take a look, this one is one. So when this is one, we cannot add one. So the result will be 43. And if you take a look, one to five to negative one here, to, to the left. Okay, 43, it is not more than five. So the result will be 40. Nearest 10 for this 43 is 40 because it is not 45 and above. So it will be uh, 40. So let's execute. And this is the answer, 43.13 just now, 43 and 40. Let's take a look at trunk, truncate. Uh, we will truncate value to specified decimal, but you need to remember one thing, truncate can never go up. Okay, the, the number of truncate can never go up. If you don't want that value, we just remove. For example, 45.923. We want uh, 923, uh, nine we want only two decimal places, so we just remove this one. So it will be 45.92. We don't consider whether it is 5 or not. Okay, more than 5 or not. So if we take a look here, truncate. 45.923 to zero decimal places. So we don't want the decimal places, we just remove the decimal, then it will be 45. For truncate to negative 1, nearest 10, we go to the left, isn't it? 45. 
So the nearest 10 to 45, it will be 40 for truncate because it will never go up. Okay, so if you execute this one, 45.92, 45 and 40. Let's change the number to 49.999. Okay, 40, 49.999 to all of the uh, number here. Let's take a look. Okay, so 49.999 to two decimal uh, places, we will get only 49.99. As I said, we don't consider uh, the next number is five or not, five or more. Okay, same goes with this one, 49.999. If we truncate to zero decimal place, it will be 49. Same goes with this one, 49.999. Uh, we truncate to the left, nearest 10, 49, it will be 40 also. It can never go up. So if you take a look, the answer 49.99, 49, 40. So that's truncate. The last number function is about mode. Mode is we want to find the remainder of division. For example here, select last name, salary, mode, salary to 5,000 from employees where job ID equal to SA rep. So means if the salary is 11,000, sorry, if the salary is 11,000, we mode by 5,000. So we divide by 5,000. How much is the remainder that we have? 1,000. Because 5,000 times 2 will have 10,000. So the remainder is 1,000. Okay, so if the salary is 10,000, 10,000, we divide by 5,000. There's no remainder, isn't it? Okay, so by right, the mode here, we want to find the remainder of the division. So if you execute, take a look. If, if your salary is 10,000, the remainder is 0. If your salary is 11,000, do we get 11,000 here? Yes, 11,000. Then the remainder is 1,000. I guess that's all for now. See you again in the next part. Thank you.